The Caretaker Extraordinary Convention Planning Committee of the Rolling All Progressives Congress, APC, has shadowed their party's national convention to hold on March the 26th at the Eagle Square, Abuja, addressing these men after the 20th regular meeting of the Caretaker Committee in Abuja. Today, Secretary to the Committee, John James Akbanudohe, said the activities for the party's national convention will commence from February the 24th and terminate on March the 26th at the Eagle Square for the national convention. We have agreed and approved that the activities of the National Convention commence from the 24th of March and terminates on the 26th of March. The Convention's activities commence on the 24th of February and will terminate at Eagle Square of National Convention on the 26th of March. In between the convention, we have agreed to have zonal congresses. And all the activities is given, is hereby given. A convention activities commence on, from, the, uh, from this month, on the 24th of February, and shall terminate on the 26th of March. In between the convention activities, there shall be a zonal congresses. All right, we're now being joined by an APC chieftain and former member of the House of Representatives, KND Odenem. Thanks for joining us in Plus News Now. Good evening, how are you? I'm doing well, Honorable. What is your reaction to this new development? Does this also tell, what does it really tell about the Boni led CECPC? They had six months to do a job and there have been several postponements and it's getting to two years. Yeah. Um, if I get you right, um, actually, the Boni led committee was not meant to be for as long as they have. However, you will agree with several issues discussing in APC, and it's not good for um, a ruling party to go to the national convention and to divide it out. And that is exactly what the led committee even up until now. Um, on the, the, the committee initially put the convention on uh, February 6th. Unfortunately, the convention committee led by the group submitted its report. But even in that report, uh, proposed that there, there was a need for additional to discuss some other issues. So, um, even when members are not, members of the party are not comfortable with the uh, series of postponements, however, what we noted that party, we cannot go in national convention, guided out, to as much as possible, try to resolve a lot of issues. Even or some issues are going to be resolved after the convention by the executive. But those statements must be resolved in the convention. And that's exactly what I said the Boone Led Committee even to this moment. So if us some additional time, um, we got on our side, all necessary things will be fixed. And uh if it will come back to very strong. Uh, All right, Honorable Odene, now, okay, why the talk of a sudden zonal congress ahead of the national convention, or well, this is actually relatively new? Is it an issue of imposition on members, incompetence on the part of the CCPC, or, or they're not really having an idea of what they are doing? Won't it foment more crisis with the APC? Yeah, ordinarily, for the 
national convention, even for the national convention, the donor convention was supposed to have held. But I want to believe that at the time we February um, twenty six convention day, I guess what the committee wanted to do everything all together. Do not also forget that um, positions are meant to be zoned. And if all the zones have not concluded the zoning arrangement, it would be too good for a rich party to call for a convention when there are decisions in zone. So, Initially, again, we had the donor convention on, on 22 March. However, the fact has developed that and take um, national convention on um, March 22. With me, I want to believe that before that March, donor position will have been fixed. Everybody in each zone has agreed and concluded on who and who to be on those positions that will be to specific zones. So, at the time of convention, I expect that what we are going to have at the end of the session of the zona concessions of other positions for which people more than the three, and that will be concluded at the next session. All right, other All in the Mm. I want to believe that at the end of the day, all issues, fight here and there, will have been concluded. Donald, uh, and national convention will go on national stage, and everything will be settled, and it will come back to very soon. But then again, honorable, reactions are already trailing this announcement, and some are asking how a party that cannot conduct its internal elections is expected to lead a country. How do you react to this? Um, I, I, I expected that, and it's not a comment. However, you will know that um, in a democratic situation, perspective, there is bound to be something we are witnessing. There is some, bound to be something like what we are witnessing now. And what the is trying to do is that rather than of rather than you know, putting people on members of the party in positions, we want we want to be sure that everything that the post done are done before we go to convention. So, um, if opposition party members are saying that. Uh, we are not, we are doing this for the day. What the committee, only next committee tries to do is that by the time of convention, we will have gotten a very clear out and APG members is on board. And that is exactly what we are trying to do. So, opposition members are left everybody wants to do. So, what we are not going to do a uh, thing. Some uh, parties have done there. We want to ensure that we stop the national convention with so, a, a, a divided out, All right. like the other major parties have done. And that is exactly what they have done. And that is why they are coming to the convention of the national convention to still be talking about the settling matters and there and there. All right, what is the next committee? All our group members are written charge. All right, honorable. You said all our group members have actually been, you know, reached out and addressed. But I still, I still have spoken with some uh, members of the APC, specifically uh, the young people, the youth. They are seemingly not happy with the state of affairs of the party, and specifically this recent development. Just how can the APC go about addressing this issue? Very quickly, honorable. Before, before my presentation. Uh, Justin, I can explain that the first match of the day, everybody as a party member or a party member will definitely be carried out and all the youth will be All right, then thank you. I know you. that a lot of people have seen with the decision of pain, but it is better that we have this now, while things are being put in place, 
than going to national convention and coming out of that headed All right, thank you. So thank you so to much. To thank you so much, Omar. That's as much. Family All right, thank you. Coming after all right, thank you so much. Uh, we were speaking with some honorable um, Kane Deodenea. He is an APC chieftain and a former member of the House of Representatives. He joined us uh, via phone from Ogun State. Thank you so much for your time. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.